It's Sunday night basketball in Miami. Game number three for the Heat. Tonight they take on Houston. The Rockets of Western Conference finalists a year ago off to an 0-2 start this year. And we welcome all of you inside the beautiful American Airlines Arena in downtown Miami for the first of two outings this season between the Heat and the Rockets. And you know we always hope you enjoy every bouncing basket right along with us. Wayne Wade, future Hall of Famer, has started the season off real well. When he's making that mid-range, Jay, very difficult to guard. He gets to the foul line. He gets the floaters in the lane. He hasn't missed a free throw in his first two games. He throws it down still with the best of them. Wade throws it down. Wade with a Whiteside got hit in the face. Meanwhile, the Heat have missed their first four shots. The Heat are getting good looks at the rim. Right? Wade stripping Capella. Here's Hassan racing with Harden and score. A lot of good foul shooting for Miami. He's made really it really difficult to guard, and, and it, it also results in that. And misses the hook over Whiteside. He hasn't missed much. Guy made his first nine shots and is 11 for 13 coming in. Oh. Hard landing for Wade and a late blocking call by Jason Phillips on the rookie, Montrez Harris. Yeah, D. Wade that time had two options. Could go to the basket and draw the foul or hit Whiteside with a lob. You'll see it right here. As he goes, Whiteside's open, but Wade knows he's going to get contact and get to the line. That's the third time D. Wade has drawn a foul on the opponent. Charlotte in the opener. Seven turnovers. Sure. Scored 104 points in the 10-point win against Charlotte. The Rockets have had the lead right from the start of this one. Playing without Dwight Howard and Terrence Jones, their starting center and power forward, respectively. Clearing the way for Whiteside, who's wearing a Band-Aid over the left eye where he got banged early. Patrick Beverly in for Houston. So is Corey Brewer, the former Florida Gator. Hassan Whiteside! It's an all-you-can-eat buffet for Hassan against the small Rockets here in the first quarter. And it sticks for Dwayne. His first field goal comes on his fourth shot. Each guy's going to have trouble guarding the other one. Look out. Terry knocked it free. Wade gets it back to Whiteside, who scores and draws the foul. Oh, what an athletic move by Whiteside. He caught the ball on the left side of the rim, hung in the air, so that he could be able to score on the right side, draws the foul, and finishes. Very athletic move right there. And Terrence Jones, a laceration above his right eye, suffered in Friday's loss to Golden State. And has kept him out and home. Excellent front court. Oh, my! Nobody, and I mean nobody, throws the ball to Whiteside better than Wade. And you see the reason why he's a frequent target of Wade's assists. He makes such great decisions when he goes to the basket. That's his fourth assist. And Wade and Bosch haven't really been factors yet. That's just the eighth point for Wade. But uh, what a good move it is. Friday night at Cleveland. And now 10. Atlanta will be in the Heat's house Tuesday night. They got 20 points from Kent Bazemore. And the Spurs win at Boston earlier today, 95 to 87. Big game for LaMarcus Aldridge of San Antonio. With two on the shot clock, oh, Wade wow. delivers his toughest shot of the night. Thornton did a good job not going for the fake, and B. Wade had no pass, so he had to shoot it, and he went off the left shoulder. He likes to go off the right on that shot. Wade has 12, and a lob at the rim broken up by Wade. Wade and Bosch really working hard, but not getting any kind of flow going. Hart blocked by Whiteside, his first block tonight. And he's got it at least the last four times down the floor, they've made a stop. Wade. Got a bucket. Again, block shot, keep the ball inbound, start a break at the other end. Harden's made two field goals. Got uh, 16 Oh, points. Wade, taking a long time before banging down a triple. That's his second three this season. See, and Wade. for the game, he's two for 14. He is 0 for 6 in the second half. Well, you see where he shot that from with the defender all over him. Winslow, open three. Come on, oh, baby! And they got the defensive rebound and have a good field goal percentage in this half. Rockets have been scoreless for over five minutes now. Whiteside, another hammer time dunk on a great lob from Dwayne Wade. Sixth assist for D. Wade to go with his 10 points. 17 unanswered points for the Heat. They go from 21 down to 14 ahead. An incredible turnaround for Miami. D. 
D-Wade has such uh, makes such great judgment when he takes the ball into the lane. Wade using white side screen. They got a switch. Gets it in there. Gets it in there. <laughs> and again, Eric, it's the second straight game. Whiteside's playing the most minutes of any heat play. He's got one more minute than Wade tonight. They have to only play 19 minutes opening night. There he is again. Wade finding Whiteside and the big fella reigning supreme in South Florida. And you can see why Whiteside, shoot, Whiteside is shooting 80% tonight. <laughs> Getting all dunks. D. Wade with his eight assists. Whiteside forcing Brewer into the miss. It's a countdown now with a heat up by 16. Uh, we and just a buck 20 left. Are we going to have an interesting game on Tuesday night with Atlanta? He will go to two and one with tonight's victory. The Rockets will fall to 0 and three. Come on! Oh my! Dwayne oh Wade my. reaches 20 points for the third game in a row. How about D Wade and, uh, and and Winslow with four threes tonight between them. Now Miami winds up outscoring the Rockets in this fourth quarter, 34 to 14. The Heat in the second half outscoring the Rockets, 65. To 26. Yeah, the Heat went from 21 down to, to 20 point victory. 21 point difference. The Rockets, 0 and 3, all three losses by 20, 20 points. Exactly 20. Meanwhile, Whiteside finishes with 25 points, 15 rebounds, a couple of blocks, and 12 for 15 shooting. Rockets played without their big man, and the Heat's big man went off. And the Heat coming together as a unit in the second half remarkably well. Oh, the man is already telling jokes here, Reed. Uh, first of all, D-Wade, the connection you have right now with Hassan, particularly as you guys were making that run, uh, what are the building blocks that have gotten you guys to this spot? Uh, communication. You know, uh, just me and Hassan continue to communicate on how the defense is playing me. And uh, I'm always looking for him. You know, my job is to make his life easier. It's like his job is to make all of our life easier. So it's just working together. We'll talk with him and he live post game back in the studio. Uh, talk to me about this pushback. You talked about communication. What was communicated at the half that led to what was an awesome defensive push that led to some really fun offense? Uh, UD. <laughs> Again. UD. That's all I got to say. UD got on us like a captain should. And um, we came out and responded. Anything particular you want to share that you can share on the airwaves? Uh, not at all. It was all bleep, 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 bleep. But uh, what, it, what he pretty much was saying was uh, they're not feeling us out here. They playing an easy ball game. They're not. They're not feeling us the way that you know we like to impose our will on the game. And it was like that in the first half. They got everything they needed. And in the second half, we just had to try to make it tough on them. And we was able to do that, wear on them a little bit. And um, our depth, you know, our conditioning, everything that we've been working on came into play. Captain Haslam at it again, a similar conversation on Wednesday night. All right, now, there was a little something after a three-point shot you made that, that kind of started down with a twist in those uh, new lean names, by the way. I was checking the grip on the floor. <laughs> Come on now. There's something extra special connected in that move with that jump shot. I was putting it out. I put it out. Game was over, you know. I put it out. Well done. Thank you very much. A fun <laughs> night. Doesn't have to be so dramatic, though. No, it was very fun. And, um, you know, um, we glad that the crowd stayed around and, you know, and cheered us on and kept the energy going. And we got a 20-point win out of it. So uh, this was a great building moment for this team. You know, we could have let it go when this team came out and was hitting all those threes early. But we stuck it out. So this is a this is a step in the right direction. All right. Keep twisting the night away, then. All right. See you, Dwayne Wade. Nation.